Hash with a new hole. Yeah, uh, yeah. Again. <laughs> um, how long have you been down here at uh, Sean O'Hagan's? Uh, only two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks, yeah. And how are you finding it? Loving it. It's, yeah. it's brilliant. It's, uh, it's a great vibe in the gym, you know what I mean? It's, uh, you, you walk in and it's just a good atmosphere. Everybody's happy, everybody's laughing, everybody's joking about it. But obviously, when it's time to work, it's time to work. But yeah. No, no, no falling out with Matthew. It was just because it was just logistics. Because yeah. your work, you were finding it hard to train during the day with work. Yes. And and so you know you can understand why Matthew doesn't want to train in the evenings. He spends all day in the gym. Yeah. Um, and so you know he even helped you to 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 find somewhere new. He did. It? Yeah. So um, yeah, essentially it was just it was just I was. Was was struggling to do days, um, which is what I did before, because I was working from home. But now no longer I don't work from home anymore. Um, and he was struggling to do evenings because uh, obviously he's got his classes and things like that. And like like you, like you said to me before, he's got a young family and stuff. So it was understandable, really. It worked like it was nothing, you know, nothing. No, bad. I spoke yeah, to him. He, he, he was. He just wishes you all the best. Yeah, um, but it, it's purely out of practicality. That's it. Because he can't, you know. He just <laughs> he wasn't wants able to stay to do married. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. And then, um, yeah, like I say, he he, he actually uh, helped me find a gym because he was asking about for me as well, and he suggested a couple of places to me. Went around, tried tried a couple of places, and then um, I also got in touch with Steve straight away. And um, first place Steve mentioned was here, and uh, well, that that tells you something there because for Steve to propose you to uh, Sean O'Hagan, yeah, must think highly of you because. You gotta admit, everyone in this gym, all your stable mates today, I mean I've been fortunate and treated, it's been inspiring, it's yeah. been everyone ready, Josh down here, Maxi down here. I mean this this place is just loaded with, with talent. present talent yeah. and future talent. Exactly that. That's I don't wanna I mean, well, like second day I was here, like Sean said to me, he goes he goes, What we want is we want a conveyor belt of champions. He goes, once the like the older lot like Josh, Maxi and then he goes, once they're eventually done because I want you lot to be the next lot of champions um, coming coming mm. through, and uh, it's the best mentality to have. And look at the company I'm in. Mean, do you know what I mean? I, co I couldn't ask for better. Uh, no, and everyone, you're all within. I mean, it was good when you was down at Matthews because you know you had Campbell and you had Luke. Unfortunately, mm. Luke's retired now, um, but but it was perfect for you because you're right in the middle of yep. them two. Here you're right in the middle of all these fighters. You know, there's Go not from more, more featherweight than, to yeah. super lightweight, which is just fantastic. What you mean? Yeah, yeah, brilliant. You know what I mean, all of us, all of us were very close in weight. We're all conspiring each other, so it's uh, it worked. Up, it worked perfectly for me. And how are you fighting? Because it's a travel. It's a hike for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, to be honest. By the time I get here, because we start at seven. Traffic's not really, not really an issue. Do so I mean, you have to leave just before six or something to Literally get just before six. Uh, yeah. yeah, just before six. Um, shoot off, and I, I, it take, doesn't take me long to get to the M62 straight across. I mean, yeah, do you know what I mean, it's mm. pretty easy. And um, yeah, it's, it's uh, like I say, I'm enjoying it. It's, uh, it's definitely worth the trouble. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. You know, I, 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 as if I was a young fighter and someone offered me this opportunity. Oh my God, I'd jump at the chance, mate, because That's it, yeah. uh, if you can't get better here, then where, where, can, where, where can you? Exactly. I mean, just, as we said before, just talent and, and all different styles as well. Mm. All different styles. Yeah. There's not one person that fights exactly the same as the other. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Like, you've got the range of, like, Josh Warrington to Will completely polar, polar styles, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, but I can see all the improvements in each. I was just watching Will today. It was Will sparring today. Um, Levi. Levi, yeah, and uh, he's really coming on, becoming spiteful, and really filling out now. Yes. Um, obviously, you know, you've just joined here, but like Levi, top amateur himself. Yeah. Um, was really, really exciting to watch. You know, you great feet. Yeah, he can everything yeah, yeah. though. He can box, but he can also fight a little yes. bit as well, yeah. which is what you can do. Yeah. You, you, you're very entertaining, and especially when you've got someone pinned on the ropes and you make those angles. You yeah. make wonderful angles. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we've all got, you know. I've just, in fact, I was just speaking to Josh, and Josh was saying what he's picked up from uh, Maxim, what Max has added to his game from mm. being with him. Mm. You know, it's it's brilliant how how steel steel sharp and steel doesn't it? That's it, that's it, everyone's kind of raising up together, do you know what I mean? And it, it, 
success breeds success, doesn't it? Are you excited to where things are going to go for you then over the next 18 months? I can't wait, I can't wait, you know, and what, what better gym to be at, do you know what I mean? Surrounded by these lads, and like a few of them at similar stages of their career to me, well, and we're all like... The last time, uh, you same way, um, Levi Smith fought, yeah. um, you were both on the same show, it was yes. in the, the whole... Doncaster Dome. Doncaster Dome. Yeah. And, um, I think he had the best fight of the night, as in it was a war. That was but one of the best performances of the night was you against Lee Allen at UAU. Very, very, very dominant against a very, very good southpaw. It was very awkward, but to, in all honesty, I felt comfortable. I felt mm. comfortable. And it was first six rounder as well. Yeah, that's so well, it was his first six rounder as well. Yeah. Well, it's weird now, you're both training together and, and you're going to be fighting two weeks apart. You're fighting on the 22nd, yes. he's fighting on the 8th. Yes. So, yeah, like I said, first six rounder was felt comfortable. Like, you know what I mean, I feel like the normal rounds probably are bit better. Um, I, I enjoy it more, a bit more time to work, because with the four rounds it's very fast paced, just go, 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 go. Six rounds, obviously you're not slowing down too much, but you can slow down a, a touch a and work, get a few things, try to get a few And you can stop. try more things out, you can work, you know, just, uh, you've always been a good body punch, but I've noticed uh, not much of a huge, uh, Jake Goodwin in four on the night. Jake was doing a lot more body punching than that, which is something he doesn't know how to do, and that was a six round for him. And it pays off, doesn't it? You know what I mean? It weakens him, throws the legs up, and they're easier to hit, aren't they? That's exactly it. You can touch the body, soften them up, and capitalise afterwards, you know what I mean? As the rounds go down, because when it's four rounds, it's too short. They, yeah. they can survive till the end pretty easily. Well, listen, it, it, I'm so happy that you've, you've, you've managed to find your way down here because. You know, I, I think this is only going to benefit you because of the, the quality of your um, training partners. Exactly. And you will know, not get any better than this. And when I came down here, one thing I want to definitely mention is that when I came down here, I've, I've been around the game for a lot, I've been around boxing gyms for a long, long time. And you know when you go to a gym and the instructions you're getting, you've got an idea whether that's going to work or not going to work. Do you know what I mean? I've, like I said, I've been around it a long well, time. Well, it's not just I'm, Sean here, but there's James. Uh, Sam, and the Sam, yeah. uh, Sam was a top uh, female boxer. Yeah, top, wasn't she? yeah, yeah, exactly. So I like the instructions I get, I'm getting, and I'm trying them out, and you know, works like a charm. I mean, every single thing. So that was one thing that kind of uh, sealed the deal for me because when I jumped in for the first part, I was obviously quite rusty, and but the instructions I was getting, I was trying everything out and working perfectly, working like a charm. So it's. it's it's a good sign. It puts you. It gives you uh, confidence. confidence in the coaches. You know what I mean. So it's it, like I say that was the seal of the deal for me. And that's why. Yeah, I mean. Well, I, I think the fact that he's trained two world champions is, is enough for me. Testament. That's <laughs> all, isn't it? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> and obviously, Max. Uh, uh, sorry, Reese is going to be the next champion. I mean, uh, he just picked up the English in the WC yeah. International. He fights, I think, this Friday. Yeah, so it'd be great for you to move into this place when it's so active. Exactly. Exactly. Everyone's got a date. Everyone's got a date so on like a couple of weeks after each other and stuff. You know what I mean? It's the only one who's not got a date is Josh Warrington. Yeah, um, yeah. But everyone else has got a date. Yeah. So perfect time for you to come here and uh, hopefully join the uh, rest of them and, and eventually become a champion uh, over the next uh, got 12 to 18 months. Definitely, definitely. Can't wait. Hmm. Uh, listen, I'll catch you with you before. I'm not sure about opponents or anything, but I know you're out. July the 22nd at Light Waves. You've never been there before. Nope. Great venue. We went, went there for the first time um, uh, only a few months ago. And it, was, it was a fantastic event. Only a small venue, but the atmosphere was wonderful, mate. Packs people close together, yeah. don't it? And it just the noise that everyone made. It, mm. was, it was a great night. So mm. uh, hopefully we're in for a, a couple of treats because we're there twice uh, uh, next month. Can't wait. Take care. Am I going to be saying win number six? Win number six. God willing. <laughs> you take care. See you, you too, later, mate. mate. Bye. Is that right? For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.